Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, some basic tech. And today I will show you uh, how we can upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11 very easily. I mean, very, very easily. There is no need to do anything else. You can upgrade your Windows 10 to 11 very easiest way. So uh, first of all, I will show you the first method that is very easy. And uh, you can see I have already noted all three methods where we can just use and get it upgraded or Windows 10 to 11. So let's see first option. Just go to search bar and click check for updates here. Whenever you will just click check for updates, you just uh, make sure your internet should be working and then click check for updates and then you will get your update as a windows 11 and you can directly click on that and your update will download install and then your system will wait for restart and then uh, after restart your system you will get windows 11 as upgraded but uh, i am not getting this because i have already rejected that option as uh, i don't want i don't, don't want to upgrade my system uh, from windows 10 to 11 that's why so uh, this is the simplest method you can use this for upgrading your windows 10 to 11 and uh, let's move for a second so uh, you can see windows 11 installation assistant this is the kind of tool which already has been launched by microsoft so let's see that just open your browser and type windows 11 installation assistant and the first option in microsoft.com we just need to click on that and here we will get both options as i mentioned on notepad the installation media creation tool and windows installation assistant as a both are very useful and uh, if you download this one as a download now this will definitely work as you can say that uh, just like when you are going to upgrade your system you are getting that uh, option for upgradation this is the same like that you can just download this is the kind of only 4 MB of size and whenever you just click for installation let's just show you okay now I am going to run this And you can see accept and install. It means this will install this. You can good news. This PC meets the minimum system requirement to install Windows 11. Please note system requirement to enjoy some Windows 11 features and run some apps may exceed the Windows 11 minimum system requirements. So this is the uh, you can see the agreements and uh, accept for installation. I'm just going to install that. And you can see this is the going to be downloading and after one or two three uh, minute it's a kind of depending on your internet speed it will also can take around uh, five to ten minutes then it will download and install and after restarting your system this will definitely as upgrade your windows 10 to 11 so i'm just going to can cancel this because i just don't want to upgrade uh let's cancel and I have already mentioned this. This is the Windows 11 installation media creation tool. This tool is the very useful, as you can say, as a uh, this tool is required as a win as a pen drive, and that pen drive means just you need to download that tool and just start and process that, and then this tool will create the ISO file in your pen drive, and through that pen drive you can install the windows 11 in multiple systems so that's a very useful tool uh, is from windows 11 so you can see that here as create windows installation media and also you can download just a simple iso file for windows 11 just you can see the windows 11 multi edition iso is already available so you can also download as iso and this is the kind of media tool where you don't need to just download any third party tool for creating windows 11 just like a roofers or windows creation tools so 
this is the already just launched by Microsoft. Let me just start this. Okay, again this tool is getting a few things ready. Let's see. You can see applicable notice and license terms. I am just going to accept this. If you are interested, you can just read it. Okay, getting a few things ready again. Okay, so now you can see the Windows 11 edition is going to download and next and you here this is asking as a usb flash drive or iso file iso file if uh, we will select the iso file this tool will download as a iso file uh, for store just like a 5 to 6 gb uh, as a iso file you have already been seeing so that's the kind of thing and if you are going to uh, use as a usb flash drive means uh, you need as a flash drive attached with the system and then just you can see we can't find a USB flash drive. It means you need to add, uh, insert pen drive uh, which is around uh, 8 GB and uh, then you can just click and this will show you up and process. Just a second let me just insert up my pen drive. I just tried to uh, insert my pen drive but that pen drive is blocked by my antivirus and uh, that's why I just didn't attach it. So uh, Okay, so this is the whole process. You don't need to uh, just worry about how this will go far. And uh, just after inserting your pen drive, just you will click next, and there you will you will find your pen drive, and then you, this process will get start. Just like a one percent, two percent, and this will reach to hundred percent, and it will take around uh, thirty minutes as per your internet speed. Around if you have. A, 100 or 200 mbps of downloading speed of your internet then it will be done around 20 minutes maximum so uh, that's it you can just download this tool and uh, i will show you in the next video as you can just also see in the different videos so you can just install your uh, windows 11 through the installation process and that's it this is the very blessed method so you can just use this and get it upgraded your windows 10 to 11 so that's it that's it for today if you like this video kindly uh, just please share subscribe and just like this video thank you so much for today